Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. My project today is a box that measures five by three by one, and inside is a Belgian milk chocolate covered pretzel. These are from um, Target. I think I think they were a dollar, but I, they might have been a dollar twenty-four. Um, but you can fit that. It will fit two full bottles of our um, glue in there, just to give you an idea of what it will hold. Um, I use the gnome dies for the gnome. The now don't get <laughs> don't get discouraged by all the different things I use because of a lot of this you can use whatever you have. Okay, <laughs> so I use the gnome dies. I use the dots and spots die, which was a celebration item, but it's in the ca the annual catalog, so you can still get that. For the bows, I used um, decorated pine dies, and just for the little wreath. I use the sweet gingerbread stamp set along with the gingerbread house dies, but you don't have to, you could put um, a little button you have or something like that there. You don't have to worry about getting that just for this. Or I use the sweetest Christmas DSP and there are candy canes in there. You could cut a candy cane for him to hold instead. All right, before I get into what we need, I wanted to ask, your advice to my faithful watchers. I got some of these cookie cutters from Target and I was wondering if anyone would want to do a card class. Um, and this would be my first one so I really don't know a lot about how to do them. Um, but uh, I was going to ask your advice about how should I do it? Should I cut the box up and just send it flat to you? Or should I just send you the size card stock? I'm really not sure. I know I cannot send any images, but I can send um, die cuts. Alrighty. So uh, let me know if you're interested, if anybody's interested in this in the first place. <laughs> and if so, let me know your advice, okay? All right, thanks a lot for that. Okie doke. For the first piece, we need a piece of real red that is eight and a half by six. We need a piece of crumb cake that I cut with the spots and dots die, and I cut it down to two and a half by three and three quarters. We need two of the full bow dies because I cut a little bit this part from one of them. So you need two of these, alrighty. And then one of the little bow pieces. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, this, we need two of these and one of this little one. If you have any other type of greenery you wanna use, if you don't have that, those dies, that's fine. Okay, we need a scrap of basic white for the to stamp the wreath. We need his beard out of basic white. Excuse, I have some paint I was painting yesterday. Um, we need for his hat, this is from the Sweetest Christmas DSP. We need his pants and shoes out of basic black. And I got two noses, just because I like to stack them because the first one kind of goes in the groove there. Um, from Petal Pink. Alrighty, so that's everything we know. And this, of course, I got from Target. Okay. So let's start with our DSP. I'm gonna get me simply scored. And we're gonna start on the eight and a half inch side. And we're going to score at one half, three and a half, four and a half, and seven and a half. I'm going to turn it a quarter turn to the six inch side and we're going to score at one and at five and a quarter. All right, now I'm just going to fold and burnish all the score lines. All righty. 
So now we have the skinniest rectangle on the left, that's a half an inch, a three quarter inch strip on the top, and one inch strips on the right and on the bottom. Okay, and this is what we're going to do. So we're gonna start on the bottom left. We're gonna to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line, and then wedge up into the rectangle above it. Okay, we're gonna to go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge each side of that square. Okay, go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge each side of that square. Okay, now we're gonna turn it to the other side so that our skinniest rectangle is on the right-hand side. And we're gonna to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line, and then cut this rectangle off. Okay, go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, the next score line, cut it to the first score line, and then we're gonna take off this rectangle here. going to go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge up into the skinny rectangle. Alrighty. Now we need a corner rounder, and we're going to round the corners of these top pieces, which are three quarters. The ones on the bottom are one inch. Alright, so we're going to round all four corners of these. And this is what your cardstock should look like after you're done cutting it and scoring it, cutting it, and rounding the corners. Okay, now I'm going to get my tear and tape. I'm going to put it on what's left of the skinny rectangle close to the score line. Oh, I got one of those dots under there. Those dots do get everywhere from the dots and spots embossing folder. Now I'm going to have to redo it. Okay, just a little piece of it. Okay. Okay, okay. Then I'm going to turn over the whole thing, turn over the spot with the tape, and turn the other side over to meet it. Okay, so this is our back. So we're going to, back here is the back, <laughs> and we're going to push down the sides, and I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue on them. And then I'm going to put the back flap down, and then put some more glue on the back of the front flap easier if I just open these up. There we go. Okay, then just make sure with your, bowl, your bone folder or your take your pick tool that those two side flaps are adhered down. All right, now I'm going to run my fingers down the sides and then I'm just going to squeeze the top together. It would help if we put our, put our chocolate pretzel in there first. Right, and then the sides will just go to where they want with the pretzel in there. All right, now we need our piece of the crumb cake cardstock that I cut with the dots and spots embossing folder, and it is two and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm gonna get some glue dots, uh, dimensionals. Now this, I glued directly down, but I'm going to try to pop it up. It might take a bunch of dimensionals, though, to do this. I'm going to make sure I get the four corners to make sure that it's nice and secure. Okay. Now you can just glue it flat if you want to. 
avoid all this. Now I'll make sure that you have the front. Oops. <laughs> and then I'm just going to center this in there. Okay, now I'm going to get, let's just leave that aside for a minute. I'm going to get my silicone mat and my gnome pieces. All right, now the gnome beard is basic white. The hat is from Sweetest, Chris, Sweetest Christmas DSP. The legs and shoes are basic black and the nose is petal pink. Of which I want to, I forgot to do on this one. I'm going to put a little bit of flirty flamingo on the top. And then I'm just going to blend it out lower with the um, light petal pink. Okay. All right. So let's start with the hat. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here where that little line goes where the beard is. And I'm going to put it right over the hat, right over those lines. And then I'm just going to put some glue on the top of the legs here. Oops. I'm going to pick up my gnome. And I'm just going to make sure that I put it low enough so that the top of the legs, the cutout, doesn't show. All right. And then I'm just going to put some... A little bit of glue where the nose goes. I'm going to get my take your pick tool. I'm going to put one of the noses on. Get it in the right position. And you could really leave it like that, but I wanted another one. Because there's just a little ridge where the hat is. So I wanted another one on top. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of light flirty flamingo on the top of the nose and I'm going to blend it out with light petal pink. And just cover the whole bottom of the nose just to make sure it looks even. Okay. Alrighty. Now we're going to put some dimensionals and mini dimensionals on the gnome. The mini dimensionals I needed for the feet and then the regular, and actually the hat, the tip of the hat can use a mini. And then just put two more regular ones. Put one where the body meets the hat, and then one where the pants meets the beard. And then I'm just going to center him on the dots and spots, right like that. Okay, alrighty, now we need all these, and with the bow, I'm just going to cut this lower one off of the top two. Alright, and the top two here, we want to stick in here, and you might run into a little bit of a problem with the dimensional, so I'm just going to cut off the very edges until... I get it how I think I like it. And that's good. Right. Just going to put a little bit of glue on some of the solid pieces here. Oops. I'm going to get that cook that pressure out for now so I can get in there. Okay, and then on the other side, we definitely need to cut some of that off. Yeah, that's good. Put a little bit. Now remember, you can use whatever sprigs or pine branches you have. Okay. 
away. And then we need that little one. I'm just going to have sticking up a little bit that way. Okay, and then this one you can use for another project. Now, we're going to just stamp our little piece of scrap of basic white with the wreath from the Sweet Gingerbread Stamp Set, which is right here. But you could cut out a candy cane or put a button that you have or whatever you want. You don't have to have all the same supplies. You can buy them from me if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay, and this is Garden Green ink. And then I'm just going to place the die from the Gingerbread House dies right over there. I'm going to put some low-tag tape on it and cut it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, and there's our wreath. All right, I'm going to put the wreath... I don't know, should this one... Yeah, I'm going to have him kind of in, like he's got a hand in there holding it. And I'll put glue on the inside of it that we're going to attach. Okay. All right, and before we do the embellishments, I'm going to take a small hole punch. I'm going to punch two holes in the top, or four if you count the back. And I'm going to use the Real Red and Garden Green Ribbon Convo Pack, and I'm going to use the Garden Green. Oop, let me put my cookie in. Alrighty. And I'm going to feed it from the right one to the back. And then from the back one to the front. Okay. And then I'm just going to tie a bow. Now you can add a sentiment on if you want. You can string it on the, um, the ribbon. There is a couple of sentiments with the uh, kindest gnome stamp set that you could attach if you wanted to. I like leaving it attached if I can because I waste the minimal amount of ribbon. Okay, now for the fun embellishments. I'm going to use one of the adhesive back stars for her, his hat or her hat. And I'm going to use the spatula for this one. And these were a bigger sheet than I thought. It's pretty large. There's a hundred of them on there. All right, and then I'm going to take some of the red rhinestone basic jewels and put them on the berries on the wreath. And I'm going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella. I'm just going to brush it, and it kind of also masks if any of the glue is showing through. If I moved it a little, which always happens to me. Okay. That dry a second. And then I'm going to use some iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. And of course, whatever you have, you don't have to use exactly what I do. I'm going to put a big one down here. Medium one up over there. Another medium one down here with a small one up next to it, and then another small one up there. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, my email is below. And the link to my shop is below, along with my link to 
my blog which has all the measurements on it and please if you have any advice for me on doing the card class if you've ever done one before participated in one or done one I would love <laughs> some advice okay you can email me or put it in the comments whatever you're comfortable with Alrighty, have a great weekend and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.